Modern marvels, such as the futuristic city of Kuala Lumpur or UK's offshore wind farms, are a sight to behold. However, ancient civilizations left behind a collection of artifacts and ruins that still boggle the mind and inspire curious travelers. Let's find out scientists' terrifying new discovery hidden under Egypt. Khoi Cemetery The cemetery of Khoi, the supervisor of the royal palace in the late 5th dynasty, was discovered in the ancient Saqqara Cemetery in April 2019. Due to its importance, the American Archaeology magazine announced its selection among the 10 most important archaeological discoveries for 2019, placing a picture of the cemetery with its colorful walls on the cover of the magazine for the January and February 2020 issue. The Egyptian mission, headed by Dr. Muhammad Mujahid, succeeded in uncovering the tomb during the excavation work and the scientific recording of the hierarchical group of King Jedkar Isizi of the 5th dynasty south of Saqqara. Ancient Tombs in Dakalia Governorate In April 2021, a massive and incredible discovery was made by a team of archaeologists and historians in Egypt's Dakalia region nearby the Mediterranean Sea. The team unearthed 83 graves from three different civilizations of Budo the first and the second, Nakata the third, and the Hyksos periods. Furthermore, the discovered coffins of the graves comprised clay, alongside other findings like funerary future, clay vessels, bowls, jewelry, and amulets. Interestingly, the remains found in the tomb suggested that those buried here were in a fetal position, turned on their left side with their heads facing west. Khufu Ship Also known as the Khufu Solar Boat, this 4,600-year-old cedar boat was owned by King Pharaoh Khufu around 2500 BC. Unintentionally unearthed in 1954 by Egyptian engineer Kamal El Malak, the ship was originally found in thousands of pieces. Thanks to the artful hands and hard work of Egyptian restorer Ahmed Youssef Mustafa, the ancient ship was restored to its former glory taking over 1,200 pieces of cedar wood in 14 years. It's unknown exactly what the ship is for. Some argue it's a vessel to carry the king into the afterlife, while others suggest it was an actual ship that transported the pharaoh to distant lands. Whatever its intention, it's an impressive archaeologic find about 143 feet long. Rams is the second statue under Giza House. A bust of Ramses E was discovered in Mit Rahina village near the Great Pyramids of Giza. The bust is considered an extremely rare find as it is made from rose granite. It was found alongside the remains of an ancient temple to Ptah, a patron god. Initially, a 62-year-old resident of the village attempted to excavate it illegally underneath his home until a team from the Ministry of Antiquities was sent to continue the dig. Large Funerary Building and Fayum Portraits On December 1st, the Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities of Egypt announced the discovery of Greek and Romans artifacts found at the Garza Village archaeological site, where experts have been carrying out excavations since 2016. The finds are believed to be from the Ptolemaic and Roman periods and include portraits and mummies in addition to a funerary building dating as far back as the 3rd century BC. According to researchers, the discovery of the portraits was historically significant because it has been over 110 years since such fam style portraits were last found. It was also noted that the socioeconomic status of the mummies varied, as indicated by the mixed quality of embalming techniques and funerary decorations observed at the site. Greek and Demotic written records gave the research team further clues as to the economic and religious status of each mummy. Tomb of the Silver Pharaoh Despite its stunning nature, the Tomb of the Silver Pharaoh is often overlooked. Unearthed in 1939 by French archaeologist Pierre Montet, Pharaoh Susan's eyes tomb had something special. The relatively unknown ruler was encased in a sarcophagus covered in silver from head to toe. It may not sound like much today, but silver was rarer than gold during ancient Egypt. Though the Silver Pharaoh is receiving some recognition today, its discovery was overlooked due to the Second World War and the discovery of King Tut's tomb. Birds in an Egyptian Masterpiece 
A painting containing birds both in flight and perched next to a marsh is so detailed that modern-day researchers used a copy of it to name the exact species painted on the 3,300-year-old artwork. Archaeologists found the masterpiece a century ago on the walls of a palace at the ancient Egyptian capital of Amarna, but it wasn't until recently that researchers identified the species depicted in the work, including a pied kingfisher, Sorile rudis, a red-backed shrike, Lanius colurio, and a white wagtail, Modicilla alba. World's Oldest Straws A set of ancient gold and silver tubes dating back to about 5,500 years ago was unearthed in the North Caucasus in Russia. According to experts, they could be the world's oldest surviving drinking straws. Measuring 3.6 feet, 1.1 meters, each in length, the eight tubes were discovered in the Russian city of Maykop in 1897 during an excavation of a prehistoric burial mound, which also turned up the remains of three individuals and hundreds of artifacts, including beads, weapons, and tools. The tubes were made of segments joined together, and they date to the 4th millennium BC, with four of the tubes also featuring gold or silver bull figurines that have been slid onto them. Experts have previously suggested the tubes may have been used to support a canopy used in the funeral procession. Otherwise, they may have also been scepters. A team of experts in Russia, however, said they were likely to be straws for drinking beer from a shared pot. The tubes are now on display at the Hermitage Museum in St. Petersburg. Dear El Medina, The Valley of the Kings wouldn't be what it is today without the hard-working laborers. A world UNESCO heritage site, the Deir El Medina are the ruins of a village that housed the ancient Egyptian workmen thousands of years ago. Situated in Luxor, formerly ancient Thebes, the ruins reflect the lives of the working class during ancient Egypt, living in makeshift homes made of mud walls and stone foundations. Researchers believed that, at its peak, Deir El Medina contained as many as 68 houses. Protective Childbirth Tattoos before giving birth, some ancient Egyptian women would get tattoos as a form of protection during childbirth. Archaeologists discovered six examples of this practice while studying mummies buried. Finding ancient tattoos is a rarity since the skin would need to be preserved and archaeologists make it a practice to not unwrap mummies. However, in this case, portions of the bodies were exposed, including the lower back of a woman whose ancient ink included black lines and a depiction of Bess, a deity that protected women during childbirth. An ancient city in Erech unearthed. The ruins of a 3,400-year-old lost city, complete with a palace and a sprawling fort, were unearthed in Iraq after extreme drought severely depleted water levels in the country's largest reservoir, archaeologists announced on Monday. The Bronze Age settlement, long engulfed by the Tigris River, emerged in the Mosul Dam, and researchers raced to excavate the ancient city before the dam was refilled. The Iraqi ancient city, located in the Kurdistan region at a site known as Kamun, was documented by a team of German and Kurdish archaeologists. The settlement was likely a key hub during the Mitanni Empire from 1550 to 1350 BC, said Ivana Polges, a junior professor of Near Eastern Archaeology at the University of Freiburg in Germany and a member of the research team. So that's it. Please like, share, and comment your thoughts below if you liked this video. Remember to subscribe to see our next video. Stay safe, and we will be back soon with another video.